Hi, I'm Patrick Parrish. Welcome to the Live View Golf Instructional Series. Today we're going to cover the setup or the address position and also the impact or impact fix position. Both are related but distinctly different. We're going to record from the front view, the downline view, and the behind view. I'm excited about it. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the front angle. We're going to start, I'm going to go over and tap my iPad screen here. Nice feature. And there I am in the setup position. And then I want to rehearse also the impact fix position. And as you can see here, they are two distinctly different positions. Related, but different. Okay, now that we have our recording, let's cover the address position. I'm going to draw lines for the arms and see how they're stacked right on top of the lines for the legs. So it looks like two triangles stacked up on top of each other, like an hourglass. And then I'm going to change colors here. I'm going to go to green and note that the width of my stance is roughly the width of my shoulders. And then also for my ball placement, I want it just inside my left radius or my left armpit. And why is that? Because the arm and the shaft form a radius and we want to make sure that we hit the golf ball before the bottom of the arc. So that would be just inside the left armpit. So that is our classic setup position from the front angle. Now the impact position is distinctly different. I can, I can rehearse this for my setup, but now I'm going to clear all this and I'm going to take myself to impact and note a distinctly different position of the shaft. The shaft has a nice big forward lean. You see 74 degrees there. And also I'm going to go to rectangle and I want to change my color there and note how the left post or the left leg is perpendicular to the ground so the left hip socket is on top of the left angle. One of my favorite positions here is also to draw another line which you can see Ben Doyle called it the magical diamond. So if I drew a reciprocal angle on both sides you'll see that magical diamond to the right side of the player or the left side of the view. So that is your unique impact position that you're trying to get to. Very different than the address position that we saw earlier. Let's go back to that address position and note the difference. Completely different. Okay, let's do the downline view. We're going to go over and tap our screen again. Set up. Make sure we have nice or perpendicular to the screen. Find that magical place. And then here I am, setup position, nice sharp clean lines, and go to my impact. Got my recording where I want to be. Go over and tap it again. And now we're going to take a look at it. So here we're going to cover the address or setup position from the downline view. I'm going to draw the line, a red line right through the shaft representing the basic plane. It goes through the belt buckle. And then let's say I'm going to use the color green. I'm going to use that to put it right through my vertebrae down my thigh and down my shin and then one across my tailbone and my head to represent my posture. Nice clean straight lines, um, two bends and a tilt, um, a bend from the hips, a bend from the, the knees and then a slight tilt to the right so that my shoulders and my hips match each other. We'll see that also from the, from the behind view. Um, and then I also can draw a circle around my head, that's kind of a nice feature. I can also draw circles. So there's my head. So you'll see here as we go into the impact position or the impact fixed position, now my shoulders have remained square to the target line while my hips have turned to the left. Note we can see the left pocket of the, pant of the pants. So the hips are clearly left of the target and I've stayed in my posture. So very important to feel this. Uh, the, the address and the impact, how you maintain posture throughout both positions. Even though there's a torque between the shoulders and the hips, you've still maintained your posture. Distinctly different positions, both impact and address. Here we go with the behind view. It's kind of like having eyes in the back of your head, like Martin Hall says. So I have my camera here and I can actually turn around and I can see myself from behind. So I set up to it. And I can see myself in the address position. Again, it's two bends and a tilt, bend from the hip sockets, bend from the knees, and then tilt to the right. 
and you'll see that my left hip socket matches my left shoulder. It's a, they're both a little higher than the right side because my right hand is on the golf club lower than my left hand, then I need my shoulders and my hips also to match that. Okay, here we are in the behind view or the back view. I'm going to use the color red and I'm going to draw a line right across my left hip to my right hip, right across my belt line. And then I'm going to draw another line right across my shoulder line and then connect the two like a tilted capital I. The reason why is because my right hand is lower on the club than my left. Therefore, my right shoulder is going to be lower. In order to accommodate that, I want my hip girdle also to match my shoulder girdle. That way there's no impingement on the vertebrae and all the vertebrae are lined up so I can maximize my pivot rotation. So therefore it's important that my left shoulder and my left hip are higher than my right shoulder and right hip. And that's represented by this capital I. I'm also going to, from here, I'm going to show you how going to impact, you'll see how my whole center of gravity has gone forward. And now I'm going to take the color green and I'm going to take a rectangle. Note that my left hip is directly over my left angle. Very different than the setup. Okay, so let's go back to the setup again. See that my left hip was, wasn't nearly that far forward, but at impact, we want to get on top of that left post or that left axis. And there are essentially two axes in the golf swing. One is the spine angle by which we rotate around, but also the left post. Those are the two axes that we want to rotate around. We don't want any impingement on those, but they're very distinctly different between the address position and the impact position. And this is something that you can use your camera in order to see from the behind view the difference between the both of them and how they feel differently. Thank you for joining me today and covering the setup or address position and the comparison to the impact or impact fix position. Stay tuned for our next video in the series. We'll cover the startup. Thanks for watching.